for me, Lorenzo Styles Jr. Yeah. has a good chance to be a breakout next season. And look, I don't know. The tools are there, Sean. It's look, all you it's can't all you can't tell there. me. It's like all of a sudden he struggled this year. Everybody forgot what he did right. as a freshman. And what we thought he was going to do last year. Absolutely. And I right. think there are some things that played into it. But then I just think mentally, at some point, he checked out. And I think that early. was a challenge. Early. Early. And that, and that was a challenge. So now you have a staff that's trying to get a kid back mentally. Right? Because when you lose it, now, look, we want we want you to play but heck, we just have to get you to block at this point and catch the ball consistently. Like we're going back to the basics with you now. This isn't about what you did on that route or it getting into things like that. This is like, man, catch the ball, block, and we're not even throwing the ball to you down the field. And I'm not saying they specifically did that because we all know there were limitations in offense when it comes to like passing down the field. Right. But I think that was one of the things that did really hurt him because, in my opinion, he's one of the most versatile pieces in that wide receiver room when it comes to being able to be moved around, play different positions. He's the one guy that can get you some yards after catch in the screen game. He was the one guy that you saw that could take the top off the defense, you know, on the post route and some other routes. Consistently, you saw that his freshman year is just – Mentally, he checked out, and I don't know what it was. Right, I, yeah. I really don't know what it they was. They tried to build the offense around him the first two weeks, Sean. I mean, they were Absolutely. throwing deep balls against Ohio State. They threw him an RPO the first play of the game. Like, Absolutely, I, I don't know what it was. I mean, they were trying to get him the ball, but I think just, in the Marshall game, he has the drops. He gets frustrated. Drops that crosser against Cal. Cal, you know, yeah. and then things just built up on him. Frustration. Then Tyler gets hurt. And then his it just kind of snowballed roommate. on his roommate, right. and he he just kind of just lost it. And, but it was yeah. good to see him at the end of the year buy in to what the team had become. Like, because it affected, I think it affected every area of his game. But you started to but see, in, go including watch. how, according to some sources, including how he acted him off the field. Yes, yes. He, he did not have the best attitude off the field either. And I think that was a big part of it. And yeah. I'll say this, Sean, because the thing that you said to me was this. I'm going to give people a little inside inside baseball or inside look at our conversation earlier. Your your comment was, if he stays, that you made to me. And, and I think that has to still be applicable now. Now, obviously, Notre Dame passed one giant hurdle. He didn't jump in the portal in January, December, January. That's mm-hmm. a big first step. Now, if they can keep him from jumping in the portal post spring, then that's that's the big one, and 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 the reason it's important, Sean, because Lorenzo's not staying if he doesn't buy in. It's not going to happen. No, the staff won't want him to stay if he doesn't buy in. Yeah. The point being that if Lorenzo's on the team next year, for me, it increases the odds that he has gotten his head on straight, because what Lorenzo went through this year. Was not had nothing to do with his physical skills. It had to do with it, it being up here. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So, so uh, that young yeah. man, in my opinion, could be one of the biggest stories of the year, right? Because what happens is everyone talks about Tobias. Everyone talks about Kayla Smith. Everyone talks about the freshman coming in, right? You have a dude that has done it. He has confidence. Like, yo, I came in as a freshman, and I was killing it. Right. Like, I went to the Fiesta Bowl against Oklahoma State, right. and I put up numbers. And he had big right? plays against North Carolina, big plays Absolutely. against Nor- against USC, big Absolutely. play against Virginia. I mean, he wasn't a guy that just – we're still – here's the point, Sean. We're not but, still talking about what we saw from Lorenzo in high school. No, we're talking about what we saw from Lorenzo in his first year at Notre Dame. And, and that's the thing is like with Tobias to a degree, we're still projecting what he was in high school Yeah, because he only caught one pass. He should have caught more. I mean, he was yeah. open other times, but there's still a level of projection there from high school. Lorenzo's like, no dude, just give me the guy we saw in the orange bowl or the Fiesta mm-hmm. bowl. Just give me the guy that we saw against USC. Just give me the guy that we saw against North Carolina. 
Yeah. You know, and and <laughs> those are the things that that to me are 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 going to be very very important. Let gonna me give very, you very the key important. key as well. Veteran quarterback as a freshman. Young quarterbacks as a sophomore. Veteran quarterback as a junior. You think it doesn't matter? It matters. Like there are a lot of the, and when you you pointed out something, it, you would just keep it a buck. If he didn't want to get back to that player, yeah, he more than likely could have been one of the people in the portal. He's out. Yeah, in the portal. So that kind of makes you feel good about where he is. He's mentally. at least taking a step. Yes. right. That's the yes. thing. And he's locked in, which goes back to what I said. I watched him block at the end of the season. I'm like, oh, okay. Right. Like he's he's bought in. He's kind of realized, okay, this season isn't going to be what I right. thought it would be. But you know what? I'm I'm locking in for us right. to win football games. No. The concern for me, Sean, is that he still didn't catch a pass in the bowl game. Yeah. He still wasn't running with the effort and the speed needed in the bowl yeah. game. Yeah. So it wasn't completely bought in. But at least you saw progress. 